We have been learning so much about growing food, not only outdoors, but also indoors. Today we got the chance to sit down with Tracy of TVA Microgreens and go over the health benefits and the nutritional value of growing your own microgreens all year long in a small space. Check it out. What kind of led you down this journey and how you got to this point so far? Well, oddly enough, TikTok. <laughs> I was just, for something. <laughs> so I was just watching a TikTok video and I found someone that was showing the microgreen business. And you know, I was really intrigued. My husband and I had this little garden that we had outside and we really got intrigued by that you can grow this inside under regular lights. You don't need any special lighting. And we have a full unfinished basement and, or you could do it in a small, you know, small area, but we, it just kind of rolled from there. Like, hey, listen, let's get this kit and let's try it. We know nothing about microgreens. I've never even eaten them at that point, but we're big veggie eaters. So we thought, you know, we'd roll the dice. So we started growing a uh, tiny plants and I'm assuming you got some type of a starter kit or something to kind of get you going in this, right? Right, so a starter kit came together and it was uh, four trays. You know, one tray has the, the bottom feeder and then the other tray has the holes in it to be able to have the roots come through. A little soil disc with like a pro mix, cocoa pure minute soil that is good for seed starting. And it came with this, you know, pre-packaged seeds. We started in November of 22, which is just a few months ago, wow. um, with just four trays. And we, the minute we were able to harvest it and we started eating it and, you know, have some culinary skills. So I, I <laughs> incorporated it into all of our dishes, like burgers, tacos, salads. <laughs> um, we made salsa with them. We knew that we were going to be hooked. And then from there, the business aspect took off. We were like, wow, we can actually give this to our community, you know, and it just kind of snowballed from there. I just started posting pictures of the meals that I was making and I was like, <laughs> You know, it's really just to my friends on a personal page. It was just a great way to be like, hey, these are microgreens. Do you know what they are? And then people started asking questions and we started answering them. I was really annoying with it at first, obviously, because I was like, oh, microgreens every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but it got the conversation started and people became intrigued and they said, well, hey, I want to try this stuff. So we started selling it to our friends and family. And it was such a great way to like, you know, everything's a learning experience. It was a great way for us to learn because it was like, I didn't have to go in with a sales pitch. My pictures spoke for itself. And I said, here, try it. Let me know where, you know, you guys know me, we're a small family and, you know, be, be patient with us and give us your feedback on what you think, you know, and they loved them. So they sold themselves really. And yeah. not that I would suggest this for like a, a business model, but we basically sold out before I even had product. That's a, that's a good problem to have, though. I like that problem. You are yeah. speaking Josh's yeah. language right now. You so, have no idea. So like, it's ridiculous. A, so you start off with just a personal page. You didn't start off with like a. You didn't have like a business plan initially in place here, right? It's not like you sat down with someone and like like okay, here's my website. Here's my here's my social media plan. Here's my business. Um, I like to use the phrase "I hot mess mommed it." <laughs> 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 I really, I did, I, you know, I, I guess in my heart, I, I just, I knew that it was going to be popular. I didn't realize how popular it truly was going to be. I have a lot of health conscious friends. I really just didn't think it was going to take off as fast as it did as far as, okay, I have 10 orders and I only have four trays. The great part about the microgreens is that they're done in seven days. Yep. Okay. So it wasn't like I had to say, all right, listen, I'll, I'll get you your product in 10 days. It was okay. Give me, give me a week and I'll have a whole product for you. Awesome. So it, yeah, that part worked out really well. These first trays that you start off with, how big are they? Are they like these giant trays or are they small? So the first trays that we started out with were 10 by 10s. And that, like I said, there was only four of them. Okay. And we ate what grew in those trays in like three days. It was just a, a soil puck. So each okay. one got its own puck. You added some water to it and then you, you know, you put the seeds in it. If you were putting together like a punch list of specialized equipment, you, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of it you said. There really isn't. So we started with the trays, um, some dirt, some seeds. We had, uh, you know, one of those, um, a shelving rack for storage. We had an yeah. extra one just laying around. Um, and it's just shop lights. So that was kind of our selling feature because we did try to grow regular vegetables and fruit indoors with the other type of lights that are needed and we had no success with it. Hmm. Once we recognized that you could just do this with regular shop lights from you know your local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, we were sold on that. 
someone who's looking at doing this, you could, if you don't have a basement, you could maybe eke out a little spot in a closet even that you could, you know, stack the trays up in there and put some lights, you know, basic lighting in there type of thing. Absolutely. Um, something Absolutely. You can tuck it away anywhere type of thing. I'm not really a salesperson. I kind of wear my heart on my sleeve. I show my cards. So the social media aspect came into play with that for me because I started following I started a business page and I started following all of the restaurants, the juice bars, the gyms, and I started interacting as TVA microgreens. Right. And hey, that smoothie looks great. Hey, that sandwich looks great. You know what would look better on it? Some microgreens. <laughs> and, and I went out there and I walked into my first smoothie place and that's exactly what I said. I ordered a smoothie and I said, this is fantastic. You know what would be even greater? Some microgreens. <laughs> and they bought it. They bought it right there on the spot. I gave them a sample and they signed up, you know, they signed up for it right there on the spot. You guys are definitely way more, you know, into the home setting than I am, but we wanted to get back into that life for a really long time. You know, I'm homeschooling my son. I operate a summer camp at my house because we just, we started seeing things that we were like, you know what, we can do all this. We can make our own butter and mayonnaise and grow our own stuff. And, you know, the microgreens just fit into that puzzle for us in, yeah. in, in a crazy way. Like I said, it was just this random, you know, nine o'clock at night watching a TikTok <laughs> video. And yeah. now I'm owning a microgreens business. <laughs> Put 40 year olds on TikTok and then you start growing things. So exactly. there you go. Exactly. <laughs> Tracy had so much to share. Make sure you check out the full interview to see how she started her complete business.